My name is Greg, and I'm a producer at the Steve Wilco Show. I've been here since season five. My favorite Steve moment happens to be a show entitled Single Mothers Get Results. Well, the reason why I chose this moment was because it had to do with a young lady by the name of Christy, who came onto the show because she needed DNA results for her four-year-old son. And basically, the person that she brought onto the show was this guy by the name of Steven. Steven was everything that Steve hates in a father. He was not there for his son. He was a deadbeat. As a matter of fact, this little boy was four years old and never once has Steven seen this kid. And Steve really got into him because Steve is an advocate, in my opinion, for fathers, for men, and he's a stand-up guy. Now, you have a daughter with your name on the birth certificate. So just because she says, oh, it's not yours, and she's saying she didn't say it, but even if she did, it does not relieve you of your responsibilities of your daughter. Hey, Who's boy. stopping you from going to see that little girl? Her. She's stopping you. Yes. It. She's here today because she wants to keep you away. No, she's here today to try to break up me and my relationship because we've been having this goal and we've been having trouble. Okay. Okay. She doesn't want a relationship Listen, with you. The problem was she the wants. She the wants right. the father of her children to be in their lives. Right. So how do you let a little boy go through life and she's saying, it's yours. Right, right. How do you go and not make an effort to at least meet the boy? This... Is it me or does he look a little bit like you? Hard to say. This is the first time you ever saw him. Yeah. I can't imagine seeing my son for the first time when he's five years old. For, right. This is the very first time he's ever seen this little boy. Never even a picture. Steve told this man, Steven, that was his name, that one day your son is going to grow up and you're going to be missing out on all of this. It's bad enough that you're missed out on four years of his life, and those are four years that you will never get back. You will never see him take his first walk. You will never hear him say, Dad. You will never see him go off to school because you don't want to be there because you feel like he's not your kid. Listen, Listen you, get you are a grown man who sleeps with women, who gets them pregnant, and then you run away from the responsibility. I do not run away. I do not run away. What are you busy with? You don't work. I do. She's raising two children and working. She might be a little and busy. Going to school. What are you doing? Trying what are you get, so busy with that you can't get your ass over there and meet those kids? <laughs> the sad thing is, and I want you to be fully prepared, the fact that, that even if this is up. his son, that nothing's going to change. He might not change. step up. Nothing is going to change. Right. Okay. You came here, I don't know why, but you did. Probably so you get a... Well, you know why you right. came? I because I paid for your airline no, ticket. I, I put you in a hotel and I fed that you. Why I That's why you came. I didn't call the show. Remember that? So what? I didn't call. So I didn't what? Ask for so what? I you didn't call, him. but you came. I came for you him. You came for him. I came for him. Why haven't you been there for five years then? <laughs> uh, Stephen, you are the father. Thanks. Daddy. Hey, baby. Hey, Daddy. How you doing? With this particular episode, you know, we always hear how Steve is with his children, how once he leaves the show, he's going to go tuck in his son. He's going to help his daughter with her homework. So he wasn't coming off as a cop or whatnot. He was coming off as a father. I think shows like this shows a different side of Steve. You know, we all know that he was a former police officer for 12 years. We all know that he goes after the bad guy that hurts his children as far as, you know, physically and sexually abusing them. But in this way, in this sense, he was going after a bad guy that just wasn't there.